how to create a slideshow in Camtasia Studio 2022. Hey everyone, welcome to How to Browse a YouTube channel. In this video, I'll walk you through the entire process step by step, so please follow along with me and watch this video till the very end. Because you don't want to miss any part of the video. This is a very important video, I'll show you how to create a slideshow. It's very easy also. So don't worry, it will not take... Uh, it, uh, it doesn't take long, it doesn't take long to create these types of videos, but once you, you once you understand um, the fundamentals, the how to use the program, the software, the editing software, then it will be very easy to, co to create these uh, slideshows in Camtasia. Now, without further ado, let's jump right into the video. Okay, so, um, if you're looking for intro in your in your slideshow just go to pixabay why i'm recommending you this website is because there's no let's see it right there in the search bar intro and now i forgot to let's select the videos and now uh, i'll go with um, intro to youtube and here you'll see something very very important here you have very helpful intros. Um, okay, so uh, maybe you want this types of type of video. And here, why I recommend this website because it's free for commercial use and no attribution required. And um, on this video, it's a green screen. You can add in the background. You know the. I'll show you how to do that as well. Let's save this video. All right, and now um, let me drag this video. Oh, mm. All right, perfect. Now we have the video. Okay, grab the video and put it in the timeline. Tam and here we have the video. And now what you want to do is to go to and to go to visual effects and now go to remove a color grab it and put it on to this video and now here we have remove okay color okay so tab on this color and now go and select that you want to remove this screen right here and now increase the tolerance but don't forget to select the color right here. Because if you don't select where you want to remove from where you want to remove the green, then you'll have some problems. So now, here we can add some, we can even add some images. You know, um, you want to create a slideshow. So it's very, very important you create your slideshow you can add here an uh, image because I'm, I'm going to create like a slideshow with kids very cute kids you know very beautiful slideshow so we can add here in the green screen I just removed it's added like a photo with two kids right Okay, you can add this right here. And here we can also write something, guys, right? So go to our annotations and here uh, go to this text. You can add a text right above this video. Okay. And here, the title of the video is uh, Beautiful Chill Duran, something like that. Can select the font, area black, theme. Okay, now let's have, we have a um, text here. 
Okay, if you hold space when you select it, edit, you can edit the video, but I don't want to edit the video. Let's say I want to move, okay? You see here this changing, let, let me give you a tip. If you, you can see this changing because I'm uh, holding space, uh, where I hold space, now I can uh, just um, hold and move where I want. This is very helpful. And now guys, um, let me show you how to create this slideshow, okay? Because that's what you want. I'm going to add many different images of children's here. Okay, and now you want to add some... Um, some uh, transitions, right? So what you can do, it's very important. If you go to animations here, we um, here we can zoom in. Let's say we want to zoom on this image. Okay, so go to uh, zoom and pad here, and just go like this. And now zoom on their face. And now we have this arrow with the circle. Okay red circle and what's this what this circle is doing is basically just zooming in because I selected this I zoomed in if I'm doing that that's that's what is doing this circle is just creating a circle that is zooming or it's doing what I want basically and now I just tab on scale to fit so it's uh, full now and I have another arrow here there it's just followed my lead followed what I set up to do okay now we zoom out now we can also add here a few transitions in the slideshow when you create a slideshow transitions are I'd say pretty important or you can go to behaviors and here you have um, behaviors, really interesting uh, transitions as well. Sliding, we can add a sliding here. This is what I'm talking about. You, you see, it's coming from behind and it's leaving. Why? Because th that's what it's set to direction left, out, right, and during. You can add like a sliding or in the middle, like fading or a bit of pulsates like that. That's good for sliding. You can see a bit of pulsate and now it's back to normal. You can make this okay. And to this video, to this image, you need to add another, uh, another one. You can use this one as well okay it's coming from the bottom and as you can see guys you can change the speed from here we have speed you can change the speed you can change the direction you can change the movement and the style it's very important you can have more like a smooth uh, movement it's very important for our sliding if you want to zoom in some uh, towards a specific part of the image it's very simple as I said you tab on you go to animation and here we have a zoom in pad you know just zoom here where you want to zoom and here we have this arrow that is pointing where we want to you see it's pointing there just that's very attractive zoom in it's leaving now to this image we now we need to add another animation or behavior. Okay. Okay, and here see with this one. Okay, it's coming this one. It's leaving, you can make it for even long. Now it's like here you see duration one second, but you can make it for around two seconds or even three seconds if you want to. And that's how you do it for all of these images. I think it'll take quite too much time if I'm uh, if I'll show you for each image when I'm adding transitions. So I don't think that's 
with the time so just apply the same effects not the same effects but different effects but apply effect to every image so you can create something unique and interesting you can use as i said behaviors you can also go in animations and add some animations from here but you can tilt from right Okay, it did for left, from left. Okay, and that's what it did. Okay, now uh, here, we just need to be creative and play with this. And um, once it's here, in this part of, we could go to... Anim go to animations and zoom and just zoom for part of this video even more and now we have another arrow here it's been created and it's going directly in front of full plan and you can add here on same kind of not the same effects but other effects that i've showed you so that's kind of like the end of the video i hope you you so I hope you understood how to add effects. I hope I explained it. Uh, I explained it very simply so you can follow. Now guys, if this video helped you, please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel for more how-to videos. Subscribe and like this video for more how videos. For more how-to videos. Now see you guys in the next video. Take care.